Hi Cameron, this is me again. I just wanted to give you another video to help you out. Um, what I want you to look at is the book report form. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going into the experimental class that has your grandpa as a student, the fake student, and I'm going to, there's the dashboard, go to classwork and go down to where it says book report. Notice that it's not an assignment, it's just uh, material. So this isn't really an assignment that you have to do. You don't have to do a book report at this point. But this is the form that I'd like you to use. I'm going to click on it like you would click on yours and then I view material and go to the book report form that I put on Google Docs for you. Now this book report form is what we call a template and it's several pages. I'm going to show you how many it is. Six pages worth of stuff. Uh, and this is how I want you to do your book report. It won't have to be uh, exactly like this, but it'll be very similar. The good thing about a template is it gives you type, size, and style for different things. Like here, the title of the book. Let's see, the book you're reading is, uh, is it Return to Martinique or Mutiny? I'm not sure what it is. Maybe I should just say Diary of a Wimpy Kid instead of the Martinique, because I can't remember which one you're reading on that one. Um, but anyhow, what I did is I just highlighted that name of the book uh, by dragging the mouse over uh, the words, holding the button down so that it highlights it, and then I can just type over anything. Um, if you don't want to highlight it, you can just erase. I'm hit using the backspace key, and I'm just going to erase the your name. And there, put your name in there. Just type that. So all these things, of course, you know, that's not the date. Whatever date it is that you're going to turn in your book report, say you're finished with the book early May, and you're going to do the report. Oops. Uh, you're going to do the report then. So I put May 5th, just for, the, just for giggles. Okay, and here we go. These are the things that you want to tell in your introduction. And it gives you a tip. It says, was the title interesting? Did the cover spark your curiosity? Was it something else? Well, you know, the Martinique book, it was your aunt that wrote it, so that would be something you might want to mention. Let's see, talk about why you chose the book to help, well, not your classmates, but your, your teacher. <laughs> understand more about you. So anyhow, um, those are the things that you want to put in the introduction. The introduction tip typically is not a very long uh, uh, piece. You know, maybe it's a paragraph that tells. And here, it's interesting in this um, in this template, if I start typing where I have the cursor blinking right there, it's going to be blue type. So you might want to keep the introduction, the the, uh, the helps you have of what you want to cover in your introduction. Don't erase it yet until you write your paragraph on what the introduction is. And so then you can write the introduction saying, uh, I chose, um, was it Return to Martinique? Well, or Mutiny uh, for my book to read. I picked it out because my aunt Rachel wrote it. Okay, and then you can say, I did like the cover, blah, blah, blah. Um, and it's a fiction book. It isn't true. Uh, and it didn't have an illustrator, so you can just skip that part, uh, other than, you know, the artist that did the front cover, which is kind of nice, but it's not like a picture book, so you don't have to really say anything about the illustrator. Um, so it doesn't have to be any more than just two or three sentences, and then when you're done writing whatever your introdu introduction is, you can get rid of the instructions about it and just enter it. Uh, I use the backspace key. I highlighted it and just backspaced it. So then all you would have left is, oh, I choose return. I, cho 
I chose, excuse me, that was bad English. I chose Return to Martinique. And whenever you have a book name in a sentence, it should be underlined. So you have the tools up here, like the underline the tools. So that's proper English. When you have the name of a book in a sentence, for the title of that book, you always underline it. And so forth. So that would be one of the proper punctuation things that you would be doing. And then you finish writing the rest of it. Um, after the introduction, then you go to the setting and you read, oh, that's the tip. Think about when the story takes place, blah, blah, blah. Follow the instructions. Now, I did find this picture. I just went online looking for um, uh, clip art, actually, is what I was looking for, to see... Um, you know, to get a picture of like, you know, it's down in the Caribbean, so it's kind of neat, kind of tropical. That looks like there's a, looks. I don't know what kind of ship is in the background. I don't know if it's a pirate or fishing. So anyhow, I just picked that picture. You can pick any picture you want. Whatever you want to do, write the setting, tell where it takes place. Well, it's in the Caribbean um, and, you know, amongst a bunch of Caribbean islands and stuff where a bunch of pilot pirates were many years ago in real life. And then the characters do the same thing. Maybe find a picture, stick it in there if you want to. Um, who's the main character? Tell about what she did and so forth. And like I said, do the same thing that you did in the top where it says I chose where you had the instructions here. Keep the instructions around so you can see it. Then write your stuff and then erase the things that have the instructions. So that's how you would replace the typing uh, with your very own report and how you would follow the directions for it. Um, and so anyhow, what I'll do now is, oh, I, I messed this up because I was typing in it and I want you to be able to get to the same file. So what I'm going to do is just undo all the things I did. And I just, I'm hitting this undo button which is like an arrow that goes back and it is taking away all the additional things that I did okay I'm back at the date now and your name and it goes back to the very title okay there now it's back to uh, a report that's not messed up so you have something to fresh to start with. But go ahead and play with this. Just, uh, you know, play with it the way uh, you think you would like to do it. Remember, this is not the book report. This is just the form that you're going to use, and I want you to be familiar with it so you're ready to use it without any trouble when you go to make your book report for the book that you're reading. So good luck with that, Cameron. You're doing a fantastic job, and I will talk to you later. Bye.